All right, first thing, we're gonna unbox our uh, Speedo cable by Motion Pro. It's pretty standard stuff. This is an old school, it even comes with a little sticker. We may stick that on the back. All right, and to take the old Speedo off, you can see it here. There's a Phillips head screw holding it into the into the little gear differential there and uh, runs through this these guides up to the top. So first thing I'm gonna spray a little WD on there, scrub it off with a little old toothbrush, clean it up so we don't get a bunch of dirt and gunk in there when we take it off. So it looks like this speedometer cable goes way up under there and my hands are too big to reach it without taking the cowl off. So first thing I've done is taken this, there's a little piece that screws on here. We're going to have to take this off to start. There, you push the mirror back and there are two bolts that hold that on. And what I'm using is a four millimeter hex to get those out. There's a very good video already online on YouTube by, uh, I think it's Tradewind64. He does a great job of explaining how to take all this apart. While I got it, while I got you here, I might go ahead and show you. I've really I've stripped away some of the skin to see what's going on in there because I had to work on the choke cables. Here's a this is a choke. There's the carburetors. There's one that's pointing this way and the other one's pointing that way. And uh, there's an air filter. This thing already has a K and N in it, which is nice. And uh, someone's done a passable job of bypassing this mess. I think that could be done better, but whatever. So I have to take the mirrors off and then. Uh, all right, as you can see, I've taken the, the whole front cowling loose. You can see it's, it's hanging down. Uh, I didn't want to disconnect everything or take it completely apart. But the idea is that I'm going to get up, you can kind of see it right here where my fingers are. There's the, let's look through there. There's this speedometer cable. So, we unscrew that. Oh, it's got a lot of threads. And then we pull that whole thing out. There's a guide that it goes through. We'll have to get that loose. Yeah, this is looking like a junkyard dog now with everything disconnected and hanging loose but it's probably not a good idea to hang this pull the headlight now yeah. shit doesn't matter all right the old one and the new one look about the same they have the same ends about the same length everything looks good We'll install that new So, one. I've screwed the, well, I put the cowling kind of back. So I screwed the top part in, tightened it up with a uh, pair of pliers, ran it through the guides this time instead of just letting it run loose. There's a guide there. There's one up under here. Yeah, can you see that? Where my finger is. And then down, and then there's one here. Put that screw back in. <clears throat> and so, the odometer should work now. I don't have time to test it. Okay, here we are. What we're going to do today is replace this little feller right here, this piece, which 
is uh, has the gear for the speedometer in it. Already, I've replaced. I've gotten a new speedometer cable. This one right here. This end plugs in up here. You can see the connection for it right there. And then the other end plugs in down here. It's a common Honda thing. There's a screw that goes through there and this plugs this end plugs into a little hole. Into this. Now the old one of these had rubbed through in several places and uh, rusted and seized right. up and then I think that's what seized this up. So I sent off and got a new one. I found it on Amazon. I, uh, on Amazon it was listed as a part for a VT600 but as you can see it looks exactly like the uh, Honda version, or this, they're all Honda, but uh, PC800. So what we'll do now is we will take the wheel off. Alright, first we begin with a 22 millimeter socket. Got a big in here, and then we use it. I've already pre-loosened this. Unscrew that a little bit, and then knock it, and what will happen is it will push the, push it out from the other end, see? So, we get this loose, give it a few knocks, take that bolt out. And then uh, this will pull right out. See what you got here. We'll set that aside. Along with the bolt, we'll be putting some grease on that. Pull it right out. Alright, flips right out. The and then what we've got here just pulls right off, no biggie deal. Alright, so we got this rotted under here, it goes through, there's a little uh, wire holder here to hold the thing off the wheel, and then clean this up a little bit with a pair of pliers, so it doesn't work its way loose, come off, and then uh, a little zip tie around here to hold it back off the wheel and because uh, originally there was a little bracket that fit on here that was all part of the uh, fender for the wheel that had a there's a metal bracket here that had a wire loop that all this hooked on to so looks like we're good to go we'll take it out for a little ride and test it out